friends. Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. And today Patrick and I are going to go over this, my grinding table that he somewhat built for me, and my grain mill. We got the bottom part from the a, wasn't an estate sale, it was a remodeling sale for uh, one of the tribes here. They were remodeling a um, hotel complex and they had these in their rooms and they were unfinished. Um, structurally they were in pretty good shape but they uh, didn't have a finish on them. So we went ahead and picked up a couple of them and I was going to build something else out of them but Heidi's grain mill got the priority on this. So I went ahead and decided, well, I can make her a butcher block type application. And I can mount her grain mill and also her little uh, coffee grinder over here that we got at another garage sale. I think we're three dollars or something like that yeah for three bucks something like that yeah so I can actually grind two things at once that's right we can, we can actually get a little bit of efficiency out of you yeah <laughs> both arms at the same time <laughs> so anyway the tabletop is totally different from the original I actually disassembled the whole cabinet um, sanded down and refinished it um, the tabletop is actually part of an old uh, bowling alley lane that I cut down and then I bordered it with uh, birch lumber. And you can see this uh, the corners uh, and the and the this fascia is out of a little bit different wood. The wood on the center is maple and the outside is birch. I'll get you to stay on the other side mom so we get more light. Sorry, there we go. About that. So, um, yeah, the tabletop itself is a laminated uh, maple and the fascia, and actually the cabinet itself is, is birch. And so I just disassembled it, cleaned it up, put it back together, and put a finish on it. And then I put the, put the went ahead and mounted the top. So there were questions in the uh, uh, some of Heidi's previous videos about the grain mill and how we mounted it. Um, I went ahead and mounted this with some carriage bolts. I believe they're three inch carriage bolts to go through that uh, laminated uh, piece of maple there. And so that's just carriage bolts and they're just mounted on the bottom side. Um, this little block of wood here is uh, to get her some more elevation for her little square encashment bowl there for her grinder. And uh, she can demonstrate that while we're talking about this, I guess, if she wants to. She's well, got I'll her... explain. Go ahead. I'll, I'll explain what, I, what I've got going on here. So down in here, I keep my, you probably saw when I opened that up, I keep my coffee beans, um, my organic whole coffee beans, and I grind my coffee fresh because that's just the best, healthiest way to have your coffee. And um, so obviously I grind that in there. And then I also keep several jars. This one is the one I'm using currently of my pre-soaked and then dehydrated whole white wheat berries. I have both hard wheat and soft wheat in here because it makes a good all-purpose flour that way. And so when I'm ready to grind, I'll pour a bunch in there, and usually I just try to keep ahead. Um, here, let me show you one of my other jars, just so you know how I store it. So these ones are vacuum sealed, so these can stay in here for a very long time, and I don't have to worry about them. And so, like I said, this is the one I'm currently working on. And I think I've showed before in other videos where I've had grains soaking, and then shown how I lay them out on a cookie sheet and dry them on the on the wood stove. And that makes your grain more gut friendly and just healthier all the way around because you're sprouting your grain. So your gut flora. Yeah, it's good for your gut flora. And so I typically stand 
like this and I'll switch back and forth when I'm grinding. And now, and if you saw one of my first videos where I had was grinding, I was that was before I started soaking the grains. And now that I've soaked the grains, they're much easier to grind. So I'll do 10 to 20 reps, right-handed. I'm not gonna do that many right now. And you, you know, it depends, it just depends on how much in a hurry. If I do 10, then I'll do 10 on each arm. So I'll go over here, left arm 10, come back over here, right arm 10, underhanded, left arm underhanded. And so you see that coming out there. Yeah, keep right them on, we'll show them what okay, it I just like hope it's out. not too loud, I don't know if they can. Yeah. So I'll stand on an awkward angle, this isn't normally how I stand. But... Yeah, pre-soaking the grains really made a difference on how much easier it was to grind. It doesn't take near as much effort. And, but still, I'm getting a workout in my arms. And that's why the other reason why I switch back and forth, it's not that my arms really actually get that tired. It's that I try to give my arms an equal workout so they, I, you know, I want to stay strong on both sides. So this side, like I said, I do a minimum of 10 and then usually 20. What I like to do is keep this towel, because I'll have the grain in there sitting there all day, and I'll just come back to this throughout the day as I'm passing by. Oh, do a little more grinding. Go back. That just works easier for me than just having to stand in one place and try to get it all ground up at once. So I usually just drape a towel over it and wherever my clothespin was. Anyway, I have a clothespin I'll sit here just to hold it in place, and that just keeps dust and stuff out of there while it's you know, I'm grinding throughout the day and then out of the bowl. And it also, if I have the ceiling fan going, it keeps the flour from blowing all over the place. So it all goes into my little container. So, yeah, and I, and I have literally done this. There's a rhythm to it, but you, if you're like me and you can play the drums, you know, uh, you can make it work. <laughs> so. And so people might be wondering how that... Uh, little uh, coffee grinders mounted. I just uh, took a stapler and stapled uh, their little nail gun and, and stapled the base to the top of the top of the table there. Um, I don't know if you can see the staples in the corners. Over here? Well, I can't see You can't all. see it. Ha ha ha. No, can't. So yeah, they're, they're just kind of disappearing. <coughs> staple them on there but that thing's on there solid so I have to build everything for stout around Heidi because she's like a bull in a china closet Bam. and uh, that's how she gets her morning uh, upper body exercises and gets <coughs> coffee ground and fresh wheat ground yeah thanks for watching take care God bless